Welcome back YouTubers and today I have another fantastic Ubuntu Touch video. This video mainly consists just of how it operates. So for those who have gone through all the processes of wanting to install it, having it installed, um, what it can and can't do, well this video here I will show you a little bit about what it looks like and how it operates. So let's begin here and we back out just a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so once you turn on, or you, down, you know, Ubuntu starts up and everything, this is the screen you'll see. It says no photos taken today. It's more like a notifications thing, swirls around. This is all I've seen so far is no photos taken today. I've taken one photo just to see how things work, but basically, I just turned this on. I let it run for the past hour. Excuse me, let me turn that back on. There you go. I've had it ran, running for about the past hour here just so things can get updated whatever needed to be done so it's ready to go and uh... you know we'll be good to go so without further ado here we go alright so just like what you would see on let's say a normal android os you have like a little drop down menu like that All right, this one has a really cool feature here where you just touch to move it around you got your battery this is where you can adjust your brightness level All right. You can go to battery settings. Now just remember a lot of this is all developmental stuff so things might be just a, t a tad glitchy. Uh, things may not work as quick or you know so you just gotta give it some time. So here we go. Uh, as, as you can see about an hour ago. That's about how long I've had it on. You can adjust your brightness. I have not seen an automatic brightness icon. I did previously before I installed the newer version but we'll just go ahead and work with what we've got uh, Bluetooth feature Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is working right now it shows it's not but the only reason why is because I've have it tethered to my phone and I turn my phone airplane mode so I don't get interrupted while I'm doing this um, so Wi-Fi does work let me go ahead and show you a few other things upcoming these are a few of the features date and time uh, settings uh, for some reason I can go to the time settings it says I'm in a specific town but you gotta adjust your time zones and stuff like that so it can really update to the correct time network status there isn't any because I don't have it turned on currently so we'll move around uh, let's see here battery you see I saw that sound here's a sound feature it does work slightly there you go so you move the volumes on the side up and down pretty good not too bad so alright and let's see here okay you just go down here and drag it up alright now what I like this what I like to do is when you just swipe across it brings back you know it starts at your application screen which you can slide on over to your home screen you slide over here you pull out some notifications or installed apps, things like that you, you've installed, I guess, just shows up over there. You bring this over to the side and you drag your finger across from the outside and it brings up what you had last. So I'm going to go back on over here. Okay, here's your home screen. This is what shows up as your home screen. Pretty self-explanatory. Here's your icons, your installed stuff. Gmail. I clicked on that. Um, Gmail will open, but once again, I do not have Wi-Fi access, so it's going to tell me I have a network error, but that tells me that it is working. So I'm going to go ahead and back on out of that. All right. I'm going to go to the browser. All right. Same thing. That's at least telling me that's working. All right. Now, when you click on install, these are the installed applications that I've put on here. All right. It does look a little weird. Uh, I don't know. It's not really that weird, but it's kind of like everything just shows up in just one big, you know, scrolling feature here. And you have more suggestions. You click on more suggestions, and it'll show you all these suggestions. I'm not quite sure where there is an app, or a feature where you can. It's probably through the Ubuntu one. Let's see here. Go down to install. Yeah, this right here, Ubuntu One. If you click on that, that pretty much takes you. you you're going to have to go there anyway and pretty much uh, get an account started. It's free. It's really easy to do. You just get on there and do that so you can get these apps installed and loaded. 
So eBay, Facebook, Amazon. All right, camera. Camera does work. I'll click over to it. Um, it's a little shoddy though because the video feature does not work. But if I swap the camera angles, there you go. Camera angles, you see me? Right there. Hello. All right, I'm going to go ahead and swap on back. Okay, we'll just go ahead and back, back on out of this. All right, so the camera does work. It works all right. It works pretty much as standard as it would on the, the Nexus tablet naturally. Just um, videoing doesn't quite work, so we'll just move on from there, at least at this point in time. XDA, downloaded the app just for the heck of it. I wanted to be one of the first ones to kind of, you know, put something on XDA and say, hey, this is me. I'm using Ubuntu Touch on the Nexus 7 2013, but uh, just doesn't really work out. I mean, I know I don't have any network, but this is what happens. I pretty much get the previous screen that I was on. It just kind of shows up like that. I don't know why. You know, I try to hit it again, and it just brings up what I was on before. So, I you know, a little glitchy on that part. File Manager, here you go. For some people, File Manager, you will not be able to access the files that are on, that are inside of your tablet here on, through the Android program. Because as you can see, you got Home, Fablet, and there's five files. Okay, I have five files is, you know, whatever you put on here. Pictures. Yeah, I took a picture there so you can see that, but you're not going to see anything else that you've put on here before. Down here, if you kind of slowly scroll up, you'll see where it says up. You probably can't see it too well with the brightness, but you just hit up, and it'll go up a file, go up a file, go up a file, and then you got actions, places. you got a few options down here to choose from um, when it comes to the file system. So we'll just go and slide on out of there. See over here, these are kind of like the things that you've been on. Kind of has like a little running scroll up here along with right up here. It's pretty neat. All right, terminal. That's a big thing. A lot of people have been asking about terminal. Um, click on that. Terminal will show up. It's been glitchy. Sometimes I had to restart. Now, if you can see up in here, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Okay, let me... All right, see where it says right there at the top, the phablet, and you can type in, you just tap the screen, and you can type in commands like SU, hit enter, and it says, you know, command not found or whatever. Well, that's, that's nice because before it didn't say that. There you go. I'm sorry, lowercase. And it's asked for a password, you know, we'll, we'll figure that thing out later on in life. So, anyway... We'll just figure that out as, as time goes on, as I mess around with this some more. So bear with me here. Let me adjust the screen. Right. Okay. All right. Let's back on out of this. Okay. Now that we're back here at the screen. All right. Back to focus. All right. If you scroll on up some more, uh, you've got Sudoku. You have a few apps that are kind of already pre-installed. Here's your suggestions. So... Not a, a lot of these are showing up. I, I take it because I don't have um, a data source for this, you know, Wi-Fi or anything like that hooked up. But there's a lot. You can play with them. They're kind of need. There are a lot of games that are on here. I mean, it's just a bunch. And the longer I left this turned on, the more things start showing, like these Dash plugins, these things that are currently run within Ubuntu that help you out, make your life easy. You know, if you want to go to search, you slide up. Or whatever you want, Ubuntu One, you got Ubuntu Shop. As a matter of fact, I bet that's where I can get most of my apps. You got your weather, your Yahoo Finance if you're into that. Um, I mean, it's really good. Dictionary, your Google News, um, your Google Books for for the bookworms. Uh, I like to read as well. It's pretty neat. It's it's kind of kind of interesting. Yes, it's developmental, so a lot of this stuff is going to take some time to get going. So. I just wanted y'all to take a look at that. Now, if I go to System Settings, all right, you are going to see down here it says Back. Let me bring that back up. Let's back out of that. Let's back out of that again. Okay, right here gives you some options. Now, um, this Ubuntu, if you want to try it on your uh, LTEs, 
go ahead and if you want as, as long as you got multi rom you got that stuff going you can give it a shot if it just doesn't work it just doesn't work but you got your cellular you got your wi-fi you got your bluetooth you got a few things you got your counts you've got your battery brightness security update um or updates you click on that it tells you what you know if there's current updates you click on it doesn't say there's anything there i probably wouldn't do it through this since you're using multi rom to run but if you go down here to about this phone it'll tell you 14.04 uh, R206, like revision, whatever, 206. Serial number, it's got a bunch of cool stuff on here. And, you know, updates, more updates to come, most definitely. Uh, so just keep tuned in, and I'll just keep looking at it. It's, it the more we get updates, the more I'll put stuff out on here for you guys. Um, but for the most part, a lot of these pre installed apps do work, they work really well. Um, you know, for the for the most part, as long as you got yourself an internet source. See, like here, the music, it, it would show you a lot of cool stuff up here, but it's not going to because I don't have a service. But I like I kind of like the scrolling bar up here. You can kind of go between your videos, your music, your home. So I hope you all enjoyed this. It was a little long, but I just wanted to get this stuff out to you. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. It, it really, really, really helps. And um, I just like doing this stuff for y'all. All right. So take care and um, enjoy.